We are we live. Are. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, everyone. We are Hi, back. everyone. We are back with another guest, Jenny Nord from uh, Rave the Requiem. Uh, here we are, as you can see. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Nice to see Hi. you again. Hi, Jenny. It's, it's nice to see you as well. It's been a long time <laughs> since yeah. we met. Yeah. How, how are you? I'm good. Yeah. I think I'm pretty good. That's yeah, how are great. you? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm good. Thank you. What how about you, Simon? Are you good? I'm really good. Everything is good right now. Everything we is all... getting better. Yeah, really? <laughs> oh, that's great. That's At great least. for you, man. And what about you, Mauro? How are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. I slept three hours, but I am so excited tonight, so I can do yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> three hours could mean nothing. I mean, three hours in uh, uh, how much time? You know, three hours in four hours is a lot, actually, or three hours in one month is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> three, three hours in a day, okay? <laughs> Which day? It, <laughs> when, when do you start counting the day? I mean, <laughs> no, I'm yeah. kidding. <laughs> yeah okay i've been up since really early because i'm working right now so no holiday so i i hear you Mauro. i have a lot lots of coffee here so <laughs> that's that's great that's great i have this weird drink <laughs> not non non-alcoholic beer i think without okay. malt is it beer no, it's just plain water. <laughs> okay, I'm like, isn't this beer? What kind of beer is that? <laughs> At least there's sparkling water. This oh, is okay. this is the beer. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it because I have to <laughs> distinguish it from beer. Yeah, that's really smart. I'm thinking about doing that in my life to label stuff more <laughs> because I think you get more confused the older you get. It's like, where's my stuff? I don't know. It's really smart yeah. labels. <laughs> you have to label everything. It's important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I like the label on your t-shirt, actually, Fajo. Do you know this guy? <laughs> Probably. I yeah. wonder if he could see us in this yeah. moment. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> yeah. I like that they're promoting each other. It's really smart. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Actually, we're promoting only him because he is the metal boy, you know. He is the the main act of the band, so yeah. that's interesting. <laughs> Julia is not anymore, so. <laughs> yeah. You just put him at the front, so. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 yeah it's, <laughs> yes, it's better because he moves a lot on the stage. Uh, yeah, he's also on the stage, actually. <laughs> no, uh, no, uh, really. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it's nice yeah. to see you again. It's, it doesn't feel like it was nine years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I feel old. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It was I didn't realize years. it was that long ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was actually. Uh, but uh, I remember it well, actually. Yeah. I have to. Okay. We, we did a lot of things after that, but that was the first time. Uh, we did a tour uh, with <laughs> in those conditions, you know, and it was great just being on the road and meeting new people. It was a great experience, I think. Yeah. But, uh, I want to ask you, what's the situation over there with those the, all this crazy stuff, you know, that's going on in the world? How is it in your area? Yeah. Uh, you kind of disappeared for a while, but you're thinking about the Corona. Yes, yes, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I think it's it's weird. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's uh, I live in Gothenburg, so um, there's a lot of people here, and we 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 have had it pretty okay, I think. So I think everybody's quite scared that it will suddenly just like top yeah. again we, we're not sure it, it's going down now so i think it's it's, it's better than before so I, I don't think we need to like panic or anything it's like so that's good but um 
it was kind of weird before because if you live in a city it's like no people outside it's like freaky it's like and i have a dog so i need to go outside and walk him uh and there's like no people and anywhere so i think it's pretty weird um but now uh, i think all the sweets are on holiday now and um, the situation is more in control and so now there's a lot more people, but we're still trying to like keep a distance. Um, I'm trying to work from home as much as I can, just go to the office when I need to. Um, so yeah, I would say it's like, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. th th that's great. I mean, uh, well, we already said it before, but uh, this whole situation changed something in the better, I think. Uh, for at least for what concerns uh, working from home and all that stuff, people yeah. just got more uh, conscious about it. It's mm. doable. It's yeah. actually doable. So, yeah, it's yeah. better, I think, in yeah. some sort of ways and worse than some others. But yeah, it's always yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, it depends. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, it, I think it depends on what kind of work it is, but. Uh... It, it works kind of well, I think, with the Skype meetings and everything. I think it's it's pretty doable, actually. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I, I think I really like like working in teams, and I don't like to work alone. Like, if I, I can have one day alone, I think it's fine, but I, I thrive along people, so I prefer to meet people. So I'm, I'm getting quite, like, I don't want to stay in here. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going insane. <laughs> yeah. You know that's that's part that doesn't annoy me. I I like being alone. I don't like working with people. Oh, especially <laughs> if the people are those these people, as you can see, they're, they are not very good people to work with. Yeah, you're lucky because this weekend we are going to work together again. Are you happy about that? <laughs> yeah, I I just forgot. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have to get I'm, used I'm, to me, man. Yeah, no, ask me again how, how is it going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. How's it going? <laughs> it's very bad. It's a very sad time, actually. <laughs> I, I have a dark future ahead. <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> yeah, it's getting worse, yeah. It was getting better, but suddenly something happened. I, I, I can't even remember it. I'm traumatized. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. Do you guys all live, like, in Milan now? Or Milan? We are uh, between Milan and Bergamo. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and that was the city sadly famous for those pictures with the trucks taking ah. away the coffins. Yeah. yeah. It, it was not very good back in the day. So everything else after is better. Yeah. It, it was a weird situation. There were. Mm. Really, no one around. We were locked in our homes, and you could hear only the sirens, you know, yeah. from and the emergency bells. services. Yeah, and the bells for the, the bells. dead Second. people. Yeah, mm. okay. it, mm. it was not good. <laughs> no, I understand. But it felt so surreal. Absolutely, surreal is the right word. Yeah, mm. yeah. but you know, you are leaving that thing and you just don't feel like you're into it is something pretty weird to describe i'm not good with words what mm. how would you describe it simon you studied words well, uh, <laughs> I, I didn't get what you what you mean what how you mean? was it to be in that situation uh for me it was really uh it was like living in a movie for me. It was uh, really weird. And at the same time, like living something historical because uh, we were living something that uh, uh, will influence the world uh, for the years to come. And everybody will remember these times. So, um, it was like living in a book or in a movie for me. This was my sensation, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I told I told you that you are good with words. I, I am not able to <laughs> describe things with words. I'm sorry. Uh, Mauro will be uh, reading your comments tonight, guys. So 
Uh, are there any comments right now that we should be aware of before starting with the actual chat interview? Yes. Our, oh, yeah. Yes, there are already some comments. We have our friend Ryan who says hi. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Hi. Yeah, he was on Telegram as well. So if you want to join our Telegram channel, we are there. You can talk to us. Actually, you can insult us. We will insult you back. <laughs> and then we have uh, Nina who asks for where is Julia? Oh, actually, Julia had a, a baby. Uh, so she is with her boss, her baby. Uh, and she <laughs> is just being a mom mm. for a while. So, yeah, she is busy with her. Congratulations, yeah, Julia. <laughs> I guess she's yeah. happy. <laughs> yes, yes, she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. She yeah. will be back as soon as she gets the time and the connection because she is also yeah. without the connection. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have Thomas <laughs> that <laughs> speaking about uh, Swedish people. <laughs> yeah. This is a great at avoiding each other. Oh, I, I love. Know. I am me too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think uh, we are actually good at that. I think it's, I think, hmm, okay. We pretend that we don't do it, but now that we can actually do it, it gets kind of obvious. So it's like really weird when you meet someone on the street, like how far should I go now? Because normally I just, you know, I have to go right out in the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess just, just keep in mind that Sweden is the only country in the world that didn't need a lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like everybody's really happy. I, you don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> you know, we don't have to talk to anyone. So. <laughs> yeah. And we have a, the reply uh, of Ryan about that topic. He says, here in the UK too. No, I disagree. That's not true, Ryan, and you know it. <laughs> we have some comments from YouTube. John Germain. Hey, man. Hey, Hi, man. man. This is, I'm in physical therapy right now, and I can chat. So a big what? hug for you. You just did. <laughs> but it's OK. Great. Princessa Neurotica says hi to ah, hi. 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 Hi, Princessa. And, and to Jan. Yeah. No, and nice. to Jamie. <laughs> okay, so let's just start straight with the first question uh, for you, Jenny. Uh, when did you start singing and why? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think like I have always been singing, so <laughs> it's kind of like, I don't know when I started. I think I was like really small. Mm -hmm. um, I always have been singing and performing even since I was a little child. So uh, putting on like shows for relatives and yeah, I don't know. I, I, I always loved that. Um, and I think like my first performance, uh, I was like maybe eight years old or something. And uh, we had like talent shows in our class. You know, when right. you're small and you have it on Fridays because and everybody can do something fun. You know, someone brings like the stuffed animal or something. And I uh, thought I could sing maybe. Um, so I, I remember sitting and practicing uh, Fångad av en stormwind uh, by Carola Hegqvist. Uh, I know a, it, of course. Yeah. You know it, okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it won the Eurovision uh, 91 or something, yeah. Oh. So I, I practiced that song and... Uh, that was my first uh, ever singing in front of people or children. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess the answer is like, I didn't really choose it because I've just always been doing it. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> was it a contest? No, 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 no. No. Okay. No. I wanted to know if you won. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't remember any reactions or anything, actually. I think I just like blacked out because I, I think I was pretty nervous, actually. It's a kind of a hard song. It must have sounded really bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you choose it, right? Yeah. So that was your fault. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you're not smart when you're little, I think. <laughs> just, I want to be like her. She has like wind blowing in her hair. It's, she sounds really pretty. It's like, sure. <laughs> 
yeah. that's great <laughs> what were you saying simon and uh, did you take uh, some lessons uh, while uh, starting to sing or uh, or did you practice uh, alone as a self taught yeah um well i guess i kind of like continued dancing and performing like in my teens and then i applied for music school when mm -hmm. i went to i don't know the english word but high school kind of um And then when, that's when I moved to Gothenburg, when I got accepted to music school there. Uh, so uh, that was like the first time I actually sang in front of a jury. Uh, and also I remember, they, because then they test everything on you. They test like if you can clap and every, <laughs> a lot of stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, and I remember they asked me, can you play another instrument? And uh, my first instrument actually was uh, the drums. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nice so, toys. But I couldn't play it very well. I just like I had, yeah, I had drums for a while, but then, yeah, I like like a couple of years or something. Um, but I still know like how to keep a beat, I guess. Uh, and I remember it's pretty embarrassing when they asked me to play because it's like this is like an audition, and he wants me to play drums, and I haven't done it in like I don't know 10 years. It's like I'm not good at it, and there's like just play, like okay, so <laughs> this didn't play, but it gave me more points. So, and I got accepted, so, yeah. And then, then I got to um, uh, take song lessons. So you take like a lesson every week for uh, three years. So <laughs> yeah. quite a lot, I guess, yeah. That's great, that's great. And you are able to keep time on the drums, right? Yeah. This qualifies you as a better drummer as Simon, so that's great. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he knew that I was going there. Yeah. I, I saw that coming. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, we well, so, yes. have always had click tracks and stuff now. It's more, more advanced to play drums now than it was back in the days. You just played, <laughs> and everybody yeah. listened to you. Now it's like they just lower you in the monitor. It's like, hello. Where am I? <laughs> yeah, but that's yeah. that's only because Simon uh, is wants to become a writer because he's writing a book. So we are searching for a new drummer. <laughs> <laughs> you can take me, please, whenever you want. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. I think but that... remember, the the playing drums can give you some points. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that you were writing the book already when we were touring in in sweden uh, the book. i i i had some di some journals and diaries back in those days and uh, i had some ideas and uh, during the summer after the tour i started to gather or, or gather all the ideas and to put them in the uh, some uh, I don't know uh, in some specific themes and to put them together and to try to write something but you know after that it was total crap and I <laughs> <laughs> okay. I ceased to to write it to write what it. is it about <laughs> what, what it oh, should no, have been why? About, what it should have been because the, the book isn't actually there he never wrote it <laughs> he, he wrote he wrote a draft it was so bad that we actually asked him to stop uh, and it's not a joke <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, it was something philosophical about uh, music life spirituality something like ah. that Something. Yeah, because I like to practice some meditation and to read some uh, esoteric stuff. So this is one of my main interests. Yeah, and okay. that's it. But it's really hard to put together all, all these concepts. And uh, I can imagine. <laughs> It sounds complicated, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually learned from you, Simon, that if you play drums, you have a lot of free time. It's true. <laughs> yeah, you have can time to write can... a book, but not finish it. You have time to try <laughs> all those kind of meditations. That, that's because you don't have to think about notes. 
it is <laughs> yeah actually you have a lot of time but you have to be really focused you, as you can see jenny learned learned to, to sing in the meanwhile so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but she is good she's better she's than good. you absolutely absolutely she's just better <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Maybe it's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, okay. No, let, let's just start to, to uh, try and take down drummers. They have yeah. their problems. They will be mad at us. We love you, drummers. You're the best, okay? Yeah, they thank, will. You. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, going back to singing. Uh, which are the singers that uh, moved you to become a professional singer? Yeah, I think when I, I, I grew up, my parents uh, played a lot of like like Sabbath and White Snake and Queen at home. So I kind of always heard those voices uh, around me. <laughs> and uh, but I think like also the performing part, I like was dancing to Michael Jackson's videos and tried to copy him. And uh, then I heard Whitney Houston and Celine Dion. So I think probably like those artists, I would have to say, like in the, at least in the beginning, like when you start to sing more, like taking lessons and stuff, you learn like other techniques and discover other artists. Um, yeah. That's great. That's great. And what about you, Simon? Which are the singers that move you to become a professional drummer? Mm. <laughs> Singers, uh, um, Robert Plant. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because he, he has a very good drummer in the band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a good answer. Um, yeah, and also Meta and also Jim Zetfield. <laughs> he he hasn't a very good drummer in the band, but uh, actually I liked Metallica because of James Hetfield more than because of uh, Lars Ulrich. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah because I, I liked the, the attitude of James Hetfield, so he actually inspired me to to play drums better, better than his. Drum. Actually, I wanted to become his drummer. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and they You're didn't get to be to, to be do to get better than than Lars Ulrich, who you know, <laughs> yeah, isn't the best drummer. He isn't the best drummer in the world. No, even if, if he, he he actually had have some good ideas, but he's not so good techni technically speaking. That's not that important. You have to play. Yeah, music, I know them. Not to play yeah. drums. I know, I know. It's You're not that hard. We learned that before, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Playing drums is easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. I, I yeah. used to play drums in my car, so it's very easy. Yeah, I do remember. I do remember that. <laughs> Why? You, you, had, you, you had that deodorant uh, <laughs> coming down from the, 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 the back mirror. Yeah, <laughs> you used it as a, as a crash. You were always playing like bring together with the crash. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember that. I remember change a change of seasons from the other <laughs> played on that car by you, Mauro. It was really good, actually. I know. I know. Do you want my place as a drummer? No, no, wait no, a second. There is, it's not there your is... place anymore. It's genuine. Okay. Yeah, I have, to ask you, I have to ask Jenny. Yeah, <laughs> be pretty basic songs now. <laughs> yeah, that's no, good. No, but I think good. yeah, I think uh, what was the question? A profession? Something with professional? <laughs> 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 yeah, we have the singers that moved you to become a professional yeah. singer. Yeah, I, I uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. I think I don't think about it like that. I think I just. If you love something, you just do it. So it's not like I haven't thought about it in that way. But uh, I think, uh, I don't know if you will talk more about that later, but but definitely Flo Janssen is like a huge inspiration, inspiration for me. She's always been that. I think I discovered her when I started with vocal lessons and mm -hmm. uh, listening to After Forever, uh, that she, her previous band before Nightwish. Um, mm -hmm. yep. 
and I thought it was fascinating with the operatic style and her voice and yeah so I practiced a lot to those kind of uh, songs actually uh, and then I think she just she's been growing on me and she's becoming better and better I think she's uh, yeah she's so cool I actually got this is so sick, the drummer in my last band of Faith Ola uh, oh. He actually bought me a vocal lesson with Floor uh, oh, awesome. as a birthday gift. Uh, wow. Right? Yeah, but and this was before she started in Nightwish, so she oh. wasn't that busy yet, yeah. I guess. And she was giving out lessons because I, she's classically trained uh, vocalist. Yeah. So yeah, uh, but something was like he was supposed to book it, and they didn't couldn't find the time. It's like it was something. I don't know. I don't remember. We couldn't get the date right, uh, yeah. and then it just like didn't happen. And then she started Nightwish. So it's not like, oh, Hello, can we no. take that lesson now? <laughs> like she's no. probably busy. So yeah, she, of course happened. she is watching us, so you you can ask her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If she will ever see this video, please give Jenny her lesson. Yeah. Even if you are in Nightwish. She said that <laughs> she wanted to try different things, so maybe yeah. this one is. Yeah. She's actually living close by where I live, so. It's even yeah. easy. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you, you should go to her house and ask her. <laughs> That's not creepy at all, you know. <laughs> no, I, I, do, I do this all the time. What are you implying? Uh, do do you actually know where she lives? Do you you know her address? No, I don't know. No, no, I don't think they have a revealed address, but uh, it's somewhere in our. Uh, oh, I don't know in short. It's in our block. No, 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 not that close. <laughs> Maybe okay. like two hours with car or something. It's pretty, oh, okay. but it's, it's okay. In the it's not like in the north part of Sweden or something. It's like near Gothenburg. Okay. I think that, yeah, my perception of it. Yeah. Yeah. But I could be wrong, but I, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you cannot go there. I mean, it would take a lot to find our actual house. So yeah. It could be not a great <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. I, I'm trying, like, if I can, that would be like a dream to be support act, Nightwish. I think everybody wants that, so that's not like a surprise. But uh, then I will meet her. So I'm already imagining it, but more like backstage or something. And, I will and no. you can ask her for your lesson. <laughs> you should yeah. do it. Yes. Yeah. She, she owe you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's good okay uh let's go on with the next question uh speaking again about your musical growth which are the albums and the bands that have influenced the most yeah yeah now i already talked about floor uh but i think uh, like one album i listened to a lot um with after forever was the one that was called after forever uh, okay yeah so i listened to that one a lot and I remember I also actually saw them on Sweden Rock Festival. I don't think they did a lot of gigs. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy that I got to see them before. Uh, yeah, they, they, they don't exist anymore. So, uh, but I remember I was so excited uh, to see them there. Uh, and I remember also there were so many people because they were playing like a small stage. They weren't that big then. Um, but I remember like people like really flocking there because it was so freaking good so yeah 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 what more I, I really like camelot as well uh i like like that dramatic uh, type of music uh i think roy khan i don't know roy khan. Uh, roy khan, yeah i think he's brilliant i love his uh, vocals uh and like um the black halo i think is the name of the record the one it's a red record i think uh, simon simons is uh, on it and uh yeah I really like that album. Like, yeah, it's a really good album. Yeah, yeah. I think those two are the ones I think about when you. <laughs> That's great. Actually, I didn't know that after forever were are not existing anymore. Did they I don't just think so. split up after uh, Floor went into Nightwish. Yeah, well, I think I... so. Yeah. 
Ja. Yeah. Yeah, and then she, Flor had, uh, it was silent for a while, and then she started a band called Revamp. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was like more her own project, I think, with someone more. So it's like pre pretty similar, but yeah, not really the same like After Forever. But yeah, and I also saw them at Sticky Fingers Top Floor. And they played like, I think it was Epica who headlined that night uh, mm -hmm. and another band. And Revamp was the first. So there was like 10 people maybe watching. It's like no one there. Uh, and I'd, I'd listen a lot to revamp as well. So I was excited. <laughs> yeah. And then she just stood like a couple of meters from me with the merch booth. And I was like, I want to talk to you. <laughs> I didn't do it. So Why? I, regret. I know. I don't know. I just freaked out. It's like, what am I supposed to say? But now you I owe me a lesson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think you had your was, chance. Yeah, I think that was like before that. I don't know. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. You will owe me a lesson. <laughs> yeah. In the future, I'll get you. <laughs> yeah. No. yeah. I know where you, you, where you live. <laughs> yeah, no. That's I, know the I know the area where you live. Uh, in a radius of 200 kilometers. <laughs> yeah. <where. laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but I think uh, I don't know how much we should talk about vocals and stuff, but I think it's really fun to talk about it apparently. But <laughs> but I think it's really important to not just sing stuff that you're comfortable with. You have to like try all kinds of stuff to get better. So I actually do listen to a lot of music that is not like at all what I can sing. Like like what? Hip hop, R and B, pop music, like everything. Uh, the harder it is, the better it is, because if I practice that, I will get better with my vocals. So I think the only thing I will never, ever master is like rap. I don't think I can do that because my voice is really like slow. And it's like, I don't know. It's like I can't like do the fast stuff. I don't know. I have to I have to find a teacher or something who can teach me. But yeah. Yeah. That's tricky also because yeah. it's not your main language, you know. You should try and rap in Swedish. Oh no, that would sound horrible, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, aren't they any, any Swedish rapper? Oh. <laughs> this is an, an hard <laughs> question. <laughs> yeah, it's not. If I if I know if I like any Swedish rappers. No, if no. there is any. Yeah, because... there's like the, the hip hop scene now is huge in Sweden. It's like really blowing up. So, yeah, there are a lot of actually good uh, stuff coming, but uh, they're really like modern, I think. You know, with the, um, oh, you don't know all of this stuff, but like the Swedish pop music right now, I think is pretty influenced by more R&B rap stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It's interesting to listen. I think you have to like, because it, also if you're producing stuff or want new influences and you have to listen to what, what are people listening to? Because yes, of course. I'm not 20 anymore. I don't know what the kids want to hear. You know, you have to like have some sense. What are people <laughs> listening to? You can't just be in your own bubble. I think uh, you'll miss out. I think so. It's good to check it out. <laughs> what's what's charting? <laughs> I agree. Know? I agree. Actually in the, new music uh, <laughs> uh, there is a lot of good stuff i think uh even if it's not what we are used to listen to as you know uh toads and something like that uh the music is going well right now uh it's still i don't know i like it i have to be honest even those with even trap music i do like Mm -hmm. And I, I will be hated for this, but I do like some trap music. You, Simon, don't like it. You, you don't get it. You're I old. Like, and I, I, can't, I can't get it, actually. I like pop mu music. I like rap music, hip-hop, R&B. But I can't get trap music. Um, I don't feel it. It's really... I don't know, maybe... Uh, in the next uh, two years, I will learn to appreciate it, but 
Yeah. When I'm going to appreciate trap, trap music, yeah, it will pro probably um, uh, will won't be anymore. Um, I don't know how to say that. Uh, um, people won't want to listen won't listen to it anymore. Ah, yeah. Okay. So you're a couple of years behind. Yeah. <laughs> <He's a boomer. laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was going to say that your your way to listen to music and to practice music is uh, really awesome because uh, I guess it's a way it's a way to get out of your uh, uh, comfort zone, yeah. and I think it is the better way to improve actually. Yeah. Yeah, trying yeah, new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I do agree. So why, Simon, why don't you like trap music? You should try at least. You have to go out of your comfort zone. Uh, you're right, but uh, I still have to learn to play rock music, so... <laughs> no, just, just give up. Give up. I mean, how many years are you trying to play rock music? Yeah, that's the reason why I'm starting to write a book. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Jenny, I see two guitars and a and an amp. So you, you... I, I see three guitars, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they think it's me. Okay. Oh, this is actually this is our <laughs> living room. We live in like <laughs> we have there are guitars everywhere here, and we have a studio here in our apartment. So uh, it's my uh, fuck. What's the what's the word in English? Some what is the Swedish word? Uh, my boyfriend or whatever. Okay. Definitely. Okay. His stuff. He's, he's a musician, so <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. I like the definition of my boyfriend or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been together eight years, so I don't know <laughs> what do you call it then. <laughs> yeah, boyfriend or whatever is the right definition. His after boyfriend is. More than boyfriend. Beyond boyfriend. Beyond boyfriend. <laughs> You're both yeah, musicians. Really talented, so yeah, it's a, it's a privilege actually to hear him play. So it's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, I can imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you write your own songs, of course. Uh, how do you usually come out with the lyric? Uh, where do you take inspiration from? Mm. What's your process, you know? Yeah. Well, I think it can depend. I think, uh, I think the best thing is when like Oof. inspiration just strikes you, you know, uh, you can like be out walking or being on the bus or whatever. And you just think of something. It's like, damn, I have to write this down <laughs> because it's good. And you don't want to forget it. So. And uh, yeah, I often get like tiny ideas and then I get like maybe three or four like lines of text or like a concept or something. And I have to just like put it down and then normally I want to continue the same when you get a think of a riff or something, I guess. Uh, but most of the time, if, you, if it's like that, you can't just like sit and write all day. <laughs> so you just type it in your phone or in your book or whatever. And then you can revisit it later. So. I guess that's one one way to go about it. I think another way is because you don't always get like inspiration like that. I think it's more common that you have to not struggle with it, but you have to like actually sit down, block everything out, <laughs> focus. What are you doing? Um, but I think uh, most uh, the most normal for me is that I already have a song uh, that someone has uh, uh, yeah written, and then I have to like figure out what, what kind of lyrics would suit the song. So, so you usually start with the music and then you yeah. add the lyrics. Yeah, most of the time, yeah. 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 It can be pretty hard actually, but don't it do is. that. <laughs> it is yeah. hard. I tried, I, I did, I think I wrote one lyric in all my life and okay. it's, it was the most difficult thing I've ever did with music. <laughs> And I did a lot of difficult stuff, but that yeah. that was it. That was just crazy difficult. 
yeah for me well i think uh, the best part is when you actually have inspiration yeah the worst part is when you have to put the, the thoughts together that's why it is so hard for me to write a book actually <laughs> that's the problem i i have a lot of inspiration while i'm around when i was on tour i had a lot of, of inspiration yeah. i wrote some thoughts but the yeah. problem is how to put them together yeah well man you you use too many dots when you write no yeah but the the reason is because i have some thoughts i i try to um uh, have a way to uh, put them one after the other and uh, the best way to do it is to <laughs> write three dots <laughs> <laughs> okay well Hard. It's an endless sentence. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. That book was just terrible. Let's just don't talk about it anymore. Thank you. <laughs> no. I want to forget. <laughs> yeah. No, but it uh, is really hard to write good lyrics. And I think like most people underestimate the lyrics in a song. I think if it's really good lyrics, you won't you will notice it, but it will like it just fit really well then it's really good lyrics, I think. And then if you really nail it, then you will get people to remember it. Um, so I don't know. I think I'm happy if you just get something there. So that's not totally worthless, I think. <laughs> Some kind of like idea and uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I agree. Uh, I mean, if you have a good song, uh, you can take it to another level with great lyrics, but yeah. if you just write, you know, lyrics uh, 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 not as good as it could be, the songs will still be good, but mm. yeah, no, no one maybe will even notice the lyrics. No. And, and I think it's what's happening with a lot of songs nowadays. Mm. There are a lot of good songs with not so good lyrics mm. Mm, i mean i don't know they are very they're talking about in my opinion just nothing yeah <laughs> they're saying nothing they're not saying they're not telling a story you there there is not a concept behind mm. the lyrics and all that stuff it's very hard to it's not hard to write lyrics it's hard to write good lyrics yeah it's true it's really true but i don't think i think it's i think it's also different what people listen to like some people really listen to lyrics and some people they don't know that a lot of people ask me oh, how do you know the, the lyrics to that song <laughs> they're singing it so why shouldn't i know it oh i never heard it it's like okay that's not my problem <laughs> it's like they maybe they just listen to like the drums or the guitar or the riff or whatever it's not that important to everybody so yeah, yeah I, no, I think if true. you write lyrics and someone approaches you it's like and they say something about your lyrics or they actually read it you get like what you read it <laughs> like, <you get laughs> like shocked. or what do you think <laughs> and yeah, then you start true. thinking oh maybe maybe i made some errors or something like <laughs> yeah, that exactly did i write something <laughs> wrong <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, here, here in Italy is pretty uh, usual to not know the lyrics of the songs because you know almost no one understands English, so uh, they just know the sounds of mm. what is singing, what, what, the singer, but uh, they are not knowing the actual lyrics. There are a lot of people uh, singing international songs without even knowing what they are singing about. Yeah. Right, Simon? Yeah, absolutely. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, a lot of people in Italy who listen to us. I have some friends that told me, oh, your song is so cool. Oh, and I, and I told them, oh, did you like the lyrics? Oh, I don't know. I have shit about the lyrics. I just like the sound of the, of the music and the voice. Yeah, yeah. Some people is like that. But somebody actually listened to them. 
Yeah. But most of the people uh, it's uh, from around the world, yeah. then in Italy. Yeah. Then from Italy. I guess you have to think about it more now because it's really popular with lyric videos. And then it's like the lyrics are really in your face. <laughs> so if it's Carl's lyrics, <laughs> everybody will know. <laughs> yes, with the last album, we actually did four lyrics videos. So we okay. went straight for it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. And speaking about live performances, uh, do you remember your first live performance as a professional singer? Don't say the one in the school because you're <laughs> not professional. <laughs> and, was, and what was your best live performance ever? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I remember like the first, but I remember somewhere around when it was, yeah, the first. But Uh, and it was actually also on Sticky Fingers Top Floor. And that was kind of cool because I have seen a lot of artists there. And actually be the one standing on that stage was pretty cool. So I remember that was pretty surreal feeling to be standing there. So I don't even remember was there a lot of people. I don't know. I just like, I loved it. <laughs> I don't care. I could be there all alone. It doesn't matter. So I think that was really, uh, that was really nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, best live performance. I would like to think I haven't done that yet, actually. So mm. it's, it's the best is yet to come, I think. Yeah. That, that's a great way to not answer the question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who were you playing with in your first live performance? You were talking about uh, the Sticky Fingers. Yeah, Ultimate Faith. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. So it's yeah. the band that toured with us back in 2011. That's oh, yeah. great. <laughs> we do remember you guys yeah <laughs> great <laughs> in fact we met during that tour uh, the one way out tour in 2011 uh, we played together uh, with your previous band Ultimate Fate as you said what are your memories of those days yeah <laughs> so many great memories <laughs> no, but it, seriously it was, uh, it was super cool I think I, I have a lot of memories from that uh, that time uh, I think the first thing that comes to mind when you're asking me that is like when we talked on the phone and you were you were coming to where I lived in Pattila I remember <laughs> and uh, you had your huge bus it was so freaking big <laughs> and it was, so, it was so weird to think that these people from Italy these metalheads are coming here to my parking lot <laughs> I saw it outside my window. Like, okay, now they're here. Actually, they're actually here. <laughs> yeah. So I just, this was really, it was so weird, but it was great. It was really, uh, yeah, I remember that. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and I also remember that we needed to find a place that we, where you can wash your clothes. <laughs> it was really a big problem because I really wanted to help you and I really wanted to like, I wanted you to experience Sweden as positive as possible and that you could have everything you needed. And I, I, I didn't know how to get you that because there's no such place where you can like wash a lot of clothes. I don't know where the fuck should you go. I, I don't know. And it's like, I was really stressing out because I wanted to help you and we can find like, what's it called? A dry cleaner. I don't know. Yes. But yeah, 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 you understand what I mean. Yeah. Yes. So I remember we were looking for that, but I don't remember. Did you find it did you find somewhere <laughs> do you remember i don't remember <laughs> uh, i don't remember I, i remember that we actually stopped uh one day to wash our clothes yeah but i don't remember if it was in sweden or in the uk actually okay. simon do you yeah. do you remember it uh, i remember that it was in sweden and probably it was uh, in the day when i reached reached you Because uh, you, do you remember, I, I went back in Italy and then after uh, three or four days, I, uh, I came back to Sweden and uh, probably you, you were washing clothes while, while you were waiting for me before going to, uh, to play in an acoustic show in Gothenburg. Yeah. Acoustic show yeah. in Gothenburg. Yeah, I yeah. remember that one. You don't remember that one? Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. acoustic show in Gothenburg. Wait a second. 
Hmm? Yeah, I have a picture from that one. I was thinking, should I promote this chat with that picture? But mm, no, it was not a good picture. So. <laughs> but that's from that place. But um, yeah, it was called Sinnet. It was yeah, I do remember now. Yeah. In, really? We were eating in the picture. Yeah, exactly. I do remember it. Yeah. You have it. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah. We're eating lentil soup. <laughs> yeah oh yeah. yes i remember it yeah. it was great yeah yeah it was actually i i remember that i was super 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 sick i could barely speak it was really oh. annoying <laughs> uh but i i i performed anyway because you know you have to do that <laughs> but uh yeah it was nice i like that actually that there was kind of different you know that we did like one normal show and then one like Totally one acoustic one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a really good memory about mm -hmm. uh, that day because uh, you were talking about uh, having a, a positive thought about uh, about Sweden, yeah. and actually back in the days, uh, um, I I hadn't uh, a smartphone because they weren't in, in, invented yet. <laughs> and uh, I I didn't know how to to reach you, and a lot of people during the the, the journey uh, helped me to to find the place. It was really awesome because it, actually uh, it was all uh, Swedish people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they were really helpful to you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. So kind and helpful and, and nice. Yeah. You seem surprised about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because I'm just thinking about that big bus of yours and like <laughs> metalheads. Maybe they should just like run away, but it's weird if they help you. I don't know. <laughs> well, they kept the social distancing, but yeah, uh, they, they helped me a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I think Sweden, Swedes are pretty helpful, actually. Yeah. They yeah. want to make a good impression. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, uh, they were, uh, everyone was very good and very kind to us. Uh, even if we were with the black giant <laughs> RV, so <laughs> yeah. we, we, with the trailer, and uh, yeah. it, it, it was pretty intimidating, but we were very stupid. <laughs> so uh, you could see that we were not that serious. Uh, they wanted to help us. We, we needed help. <laughs> And they yeah. gave us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it was very good. Yeah. Good we did, uh, <laughs> it, it was great. I do remember that uh, the dinner we had, and I remember that I was extremely relaxed because I didn't have the, to play. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was actually the second acoustic gig we did in that tour, right? The other one was in Alvsbin, or I don't know how you pronounce it, Alvsbin, it, in the far northern part of Sweden, oh, near Finland. Sweden. <laughs> I was like, oh, that must be like Finland or something. Okay, yeah. I think the name was. <laughs> Alvsbin. Okay, I don't know that place. <laughs> 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 you know, it's it's pretty it's a pretty small town. It's like two hundred people, so <laughs> maybe you're not supposed to know it. No, it, it okay. was just uh, where our promoter lived, so uh, oh, he just okay. booked a show over there, so we could sleep there, mm -hmm. and then we went to Finland in Rovaniemi and in uh, Oulu. 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 Yeah. Okay. yeah, and then we got back to Gothenburg. Mm. Yeah, okay. So we, we went straight from there, or yeah. we played in Karstad, I don't remember. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but I remember that you really liked Sweden, right? Oh, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do love Sweden. I, I came there, actually, I, get, I got to Stockholm two times. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and I love it. I love people over there. I love the culture. I love the society. You know, it's yeah. a great country in my opinion. Yeah. You already Thank know. You. Is we we talked a lot about yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Simon didn't like it back in the days, but now what what does he think about it? 
I want to live there. <laughs> <laughs> You're just saying that. <laughs> No, no, Maybe no. We can, we can change because I don't want to live here. <laughs> no, actually. You want to switch yeah. and come to Italy? <laughs> yeah, we can switch. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Simon, we did it. Yeah, Let's we go just there. Have to wait That's time. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, rem I remember that uh, we all wanted to move uh, all together in Sweden and live there <laughs> as a band. <laughs> That's yeah. true. We we actually we found a school to buy over there, and we were thinking about it. We were actually thinking about buying a music school over there and move yeah. there and yeah. do something. Then we just didn't have the you know the courage to do it. To be honest, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's good to live here, I suppose. It's pretty safe and. Yeah, <laughs> but you don't have the sun, you know. No, the beach, no sun, no beach. Sea. <laughs> you cannot go. No joy. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I wouldn't it's great say in the that. Summer, at least, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't have this hotness over here. We are just melting, you know. Yeah. Uh, let's check the comments, Mauro. Do we have anything? Yeah, we have people from Brazil, Wesley. Hi, hi, Wesley. And hey, man. From, from Chile. Johnny. Yeah, great. Yeah. Hey. Simon My knows cousin. them all. Yeah, they are <laughs> friends of mine on Instagram, actually. That's great. <laughs> and this is my cousin from Sardinia. <laughs> hi, and then, hi. And then we have John Arvis. Who says wasn't familiar with this band until now? Just watch them on YouTube. I like him. I like him a lot. Mm, thank you. Awesome. Which Our band friend, are we talking about? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Rev oh. the Requiem, I suppose. Uh, mm. Yeah, it was also, just to produce Ryan uh, comment. <laughs> I know the band. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> First time hearing Rev the Requiem today. You guys sound great. You. <laughs> so, a lot of appreciation for you guys. Yeah. Cool. Hello from Colorado Springs, USA. Hello, and John. And people around the world, that's great. Yeah, cool. And then Sweden. <laughs> Elizabeth Soderberg. Hmm. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello from from Vanesborg. Yeah. Is that the right pronunciation? Of course, is it? <laughs> 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 it was pretty good, actually. Yeah. See? No, no. Nice. Yeah, sorry. I was I was just making sure of it. No, don't worry. No, nothing bad. <laughs> so, uh, speaking about Rave the Requiem, uh, yeah. how did you join them? Yeah. <laughs> how did I join them? Uh, I actually saw an ad online hmm. uh, and it didn't say what band it was. It just said that uh, a melodic metal band was looking for a uh, vocalist. And uh, yeah, you were supposed to go on tour and do lots of fun stuff. So it's like, hmm, sounds interesting. And I didn't know there, it was a Swedish band because there wasn't a lot of information. Uh, oh. Yeah, so I just took a shot, I think. It was just like a coincidence or an act of God. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I just went for it and uh, contacted them and felt kind of like, you know, when you're not sure of some things, like, should I really message, should I really answer to, that, to this? Uh, but then I was like, yes, of course, why not? So I just, like, over-promoted myself. And, like, <laughs> just sent a lot of Spotify links because I thought, if they see that I'm Spotify, <laughs> I don't know that I'm the shit, you know. So <clears throat> I sent them a lot of links. And in a couple of hours, they... <laughs> they it worked. Got, yeah, it, it worked. So they got in touch pretty fast. It's like... The band's interested. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then I got to talk to Pette, who is the bass player. And we talked a lot, actually. We have uh, a, lot in a lot in common. Uh, and uh, I got to sing uh, Are You Happy Now, Fidelio? Uh, like an audition stuff. Uh, and record okay. and send to them. Yeah. And uh, yeah, everybody liked it as well. So 
yeah, it was uh, pretty fast then. Uh, I met like uh, Philip and uh, the Holy Mother. Uh, went, uh, I talked to them on the phone and then they came here to Gothenburg. Uh, I think, I don't know about you guys, but if you meet like people, you can like instantly feel with some people that is like, you really, you really yeah. hit it off, you know. If yeah. You feel like this is, this feels good. <laughs> so it's like, I think we all felt like this is a no brainer, but you still have to like go through everything and talk about all the details and it's a lot of stuff going on. So there's a lot of stuff to like figure out. Um, and this was right before Corona. Uh, yeah. It hadn't like started yet. Uh, so we didn't have that in mind at all, <laughs> obviously. Um, yeah, and then I went to, because uh, they're from Kalmar, who is in the south part of Sweden. I went there and met the rest of the band, and we rehearsed some songs, and uh, yeah, I told them I wanted to join, and they were really happy, so yeah. <laughs> cool. That's great, that's great, and you uh, recorded an album now, right? Yes. yes, so it was pretty crazy, because then it was like... Uh, I don't think I realized that from the start that because they didn't tell me that like, you're supposed to record an album like in a couple of weeks. They didn't say that. So I didn't know that. So when I told them like, I'm, I want to join and I listened to the songs like, and when are we supposed to record the album? And he, uh, Philip, the prophet, he was like, as soon as possible, you, you go, you're going to Fascination Street Studio in a couple of weeks. You need to rehearse. <laughs> like, okay. Can you send me the songs? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I rehearsed as hell. And uh, actually, that was like a dream come true. I don't know if you know that studio. I think it is yes, a pretty famous do, studio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, uh, with Jens Bogrian and uh, Linus Cornelison was the one who recorded uh, us. Um, and we went to in Örebro because we have two studios. Uh, yeah. But it was the one in Örebro. Uh, okay. The original. I think studio. Yeah. The first so, one. Yeah. The, the historical one, yes. Yeah. It was so awesome to go there. It's like that's like a dream come true, you know, to go there and get to record vocals in Fascination Street and stay in that like yeah, with Dimi Borgir and you know, all the famous artists are creator and yeah, they have so many famous artists there. But to get to sleep there and just hang out with them and go record like I was so excited I could barely sleep you know when you have so much adrenaline and it's like ah, you're so excited I couldn't like I slept like maybe two three hours or something it was up like, really early you know putting my makeup on getting ready several hours before we had to go so I was super excited yeah it was so much fun it was so much fun yeah I loved it so great experience really yeah yeah so the album is done so do you yeah. know when it will be available or not yet? Uh, we don't have an official release yet. Uh, we're okay. talking with our record label that has to decide that. Yes. Uh, but we're hoping maybe September ish, perhaps. Or okay. Something like that. Not not that far out, at least. So soon. Okay. <laughs> so this, this leads us to the next question. What are the plans for you and Rave Director in the near future? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we have also recorded a music video. Yeah. Uh, that was super fun. And it's like a really, really big production, actually. Uh, yeah. A lot of people involved. And yeah, <laughs> it was cool. We, we actually recorded one day. We were at Bori Holm Castle, which mm -hmm. is a really super cool castle ruin thingy on uh, Erland, beautiful island in Sweden. Um, yeah, it was super beautiful and just like, yeah, also like a dream come true to be able to record a music video there. Um, so I think that will be a really great video. Um, that will, we'll see when it, we, we don't know when it will be ready, but not too long, I think, I hope. I, I think I saw some uh, maybe pictures and stories on your Instagram profile, yeah. right? Yes. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. If you want to check it out, you can go to uh, Jenny Instagram profile. You can see it right here. 
and check out uh, everything is doing. You can also check the Instagram of Rave the Requiem, uh, where I think you will find all the stuff that will be released mm. and yeah, also everything else that is already there, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can yeah. check him. I, I put up a lot of Instagram stories. So, and I have like a highlight that's called Rave Requiem. So if you just watch that, you will see everything I talked about when we were in Albro and when we recorded the video. And you can hear some of the songs. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's nice, I think. Uh, but also we, we have uh, some um, gigs coming, but like everybody else, we don't know what will happen with those. Uh, we're hoping that we can go. Yep. We haven't heard anything yet, so we'll see. We're hoping for the best. <laughs> I, I hope it as well. Uh, as you know, we had to move everything to the next year, like yeah. I think everyone else. But if you can go for it, just go for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I can't wait to go back on stage. Mm, uh, yeah. <laughs> do, do you have any side projects besides Rave the Requiem? Yeah, I actually do. I have uh, a project called Align. Um, oh. with, uh, yeah, with Claudio Oyarso. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a really fun project. It's a bit different. So it's a much more soft project, I think, uh, than I've been part of before. And also, as I talked about earlier, I think it's important to like try different things with your voice to not always do the same thing. So I think definitely this project has been a challenge for me in that way because I used I'm used to like really using my power and it's like it comes automatic for me to just like go all in and, and really sing, sing my ass off. Uh, but here is more I, I'm practicing a softer side. <laughs> yeah, it takes time, but I think uh, yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah, so yeah, we have stuff out on Spotify if you want to check it out. So it's more like influences from uh, Catatonia, Anathema, uh, Devin Townsend Project. Yeah, oh, we, awesome. uh, we also mixed with uh, Roberto Laghi. I don't know him. Yeah, you don't know him. <laughs> no, never heard of him. Yeah, he works with Inflames, so he's pretty oh. big. <laughs> 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 We're joking now because you know him, so yes, <laughs> of course. I'm a douchebag. <laughs> it, it mixed our la latest yeah. three albums, actually. So yes, we do know him. Fun fact is that the first time we worked with him, uh, I was uh, talking to him via mail, and uh, I was writing in English, of course. But the name Roberto Laghi is actually an Italian name. Uh, it's pretty weird because both Italian, the, both the name and the surname are Italians. Mm. So I really thought that the guy was Italian. <laughs> and at some point, I, at the end, of, I believe it was the second mail, I told him, hey man, could we switch to Italian, you know, for to be more comfortable with the language? Yeah. And he yeah. said... Uh, actually, I don't speak Italian. Uh, it was just my, my grandfather that was Italian and I was named after him. So yeah. he doesn't speak a word. Well, mm -hmm. I, I told him some words, but I don't yeah. know if he goes around saying them. <laughs> what did you teach him? Well, maybe Nothing. it depends on what words. Yes, of course, yeah. only the bad words. That was yeah, okay. that is always Italian's main goal when we are outside of Italy. We, uh, I think there are some places in Finland that actually have some curse words on the walls written by the bands that we talked to. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. We didn't tell you anything no. about that. <laughs> because we didn't want to make a bad impression. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but he's an awesome uh, guy, I think. Yeah. Really. Yes, cool. he, so. he is. He is. He is uh, I think he is, uh, in my opinion, he is one of the best in his. Uh, I wouldn't say type of music because if you want that sound, you can apply it to uh, a lot of genres, in my opinion. Mm. Uh, but 
for that sound, that kind of sound he is the best, in my opinion. Yeah. There, I can recognize his work even without knowing that he worked in that album. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty unique. We love it. And he also respects the sound of the band, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, a, a lot of good professional uh, sound engineer are, you know, making everything sound great, but they are making everything sound the same. Yeah. Uh, he respects, he, he takes your sounds and your tones and he will just improve them and put that Roberto Laghi uh, thing Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I cannot mm -hmm. explain, mm -hmm. uh, and it makes everything sounds huge. Yeah. And very natural. Really. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's rough. Yeah. The, their mixes are pretty rough. I like them. Yeah, it's organic <laughs> in some way, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's also why uh, I'm working with him also outside of Raven's Cry. Uh, we, we we are in a sort of a partnership. We are working with a big Italian artist mm -hmm. and he is doing the mixes for him. And then we are uh, doing the mastering stuff uh, in New York with Ted mm -hmm. Jensen. Mm -hmm. And Jakob Hansen uh, did the, the master for our mm -hmm. second album. But it was mixed by him. Uh, no, uh, sorry. For, the for, for that, album, he, he mixed. He mixed the, yes. Yes. For the Invisible, for the invisible. Our album. Yeah. Yes. But otherwise, we always work with Dragan Tanaskovic. I think you know him as well because you uh, you recorded in his studio at the Bose Sound Studios. Yeah, I was there. Yeah. yeah. That's a great team. And it's the team that actually worked on the Sounds of a Playground Fading by In Flames. Yeah, they're, they're great impressive dudes yeah <laughs> yes yes it would be awesome to meet him in person we we actually uh made the free albums with with him yeah. but we we never get the chance to meet him in person uh, well, we have to meet him he's super sweet it's really fun to talk to yeah he talks yeah. a lot Talks a lot. <laughs> that's pretty I think Italian. that's great. I talk a lot too, so then you can <laughs> you have a lot to talk about them. <laughs> yeah. We should yeah. all meet together in the studio and talk about stuff. Yeah. You should come here and we can play together and then we go meet Roberto. That would be great. Yeah. yeah. Cool idea. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Then we can visit Clue as well. We can try to find her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. She has to wait for us, but she will. She will be there. We. Yeah. She, she, she will do that lesson. So yes. Yeah. Uh, Mauro, are you barking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a delay. <laughs> do you have a dog, Mauro? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have a dog too. He's sleeping here. I thought maybe I would show him if he was stressing out, but he's actually just sleeping, so that's good. <laughs> just 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 leaving to sleep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Relaxing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking about what you do in your life, you know, do do you have any hobbies and interests outside of music? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but I um, actually do photography a lot. Oh, really? We didn't yeah. expect that. <laughs> we should, uh, uh, I don't know, for example, put a link on the screen because we were not expecting that. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can see it there. Yeah. 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 So I, I really like to uh, take pictures. Uh, I think it started with actually just wanting to explore uh, the music scene more. And I just got a hold of a camera and started taking pictures of shows. And then I realized that I loved it. And I think also if you're used to being on stage, you're, uh, 
if, if I'm on stage, I kind of like here and I get when all the cool stuff is coming. So when I was taking pictures, I like, okay, now there's a break. Now they will do that and blah, blah, blah. You know, so it's easier to take good pictures, I think. Uh, and then it just started growing on me and I've continued since then. And also I just graduated from uh, the university um, in digital media. So I have expanded <laughs> my knowledge about this. So yeah, I take a lot of pictures. So I guess it's kind of both work and an interest, I guess. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> and Fede, the man behind the scenes, says congrats. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, for the graduation. Thank you. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, he was not talking about the pictures. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Even if they would, I know them. Uh, <laughs> yes, he says. Thank you, Fede. Thank you. Uh, I think I am very bad in taking pictures. I invite the, the 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 capacity, you know, to get good pictures mm. out of reality. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know how you do it, but <laughs> I cannot, uh, even with the smartphones, you know, that they have all those kind of technology that mm -hmm. should make you take good pictures. I'm mm -hmm. a mess. I um, I cannot stand still. I cannot choose the right lighting. I cannot focus on things. You know, maybe yeah. what I used to uh, use a, a reflex camera uh, with the band. Actually, I took a lot of pictures that mm -hmm. looked great in the little screen, mm -hmm. and then when I just uh, downloaded them on the the computer. They were all out of focus and mm. I just <laughs> threw away like 250 pictures. Oh, that's bad. How do you do it? Yeah. I, yeah, I think to start with, you have to want to take good pictures. <laughs> I do want. <laughs> it, it doesn't work. This, this okay. is not good. You have no. to try harder then. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is a great suggestion. Thank you. Sorry, it's all about will. <laughs> yes, well, well, well. No, but I think, uh, I don't know. I think you have to have some sense of what <laughs> looks good on, in the frame. Uh, <laughs> and then you can work from there. So, of course, you can't find focus in the beginning. Everybody will take very shitty pictures. But if you practice, you will understand how. Uh, and I think it helps if you stand still also when you take the picture. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. uh, I'm not able to do that. It's like 20 years that I'm trying to get good pictures. I mean, yeah. no, it's not for me. It's just not for me. No, okay. No, but everyone, no, I know a lot of people can't take pictures. <laughs> so I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually have a smartphone with four cameras. I never use it uh. because I'm not able to do it. Simon, why are you laughing at me? Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm just thinking them. Uh, I like Instagram filters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not able to use them. It's me neither. Something... <laughs> My... Now I get curious on your pictures. Can, are you on Instagram? I have to check. How bad are your pictures? Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. They are very okay. bad. I'm going to check now. The best one is the one before yeah. or the last one. There's mostly the... selfies here. Yes, of course, <laughs> it's my Instagram. What yeah. should I... Ah, that's why the pictures are so bad. You <laughs> yes, are the main course. subject. Okay. You could tell, you could tell us before. I don't think yes. they're that bad, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's... You know, of course, the subject is bad, but I mean, the picture, I'm talking about the picture, not the subject. The yeah. pictures are, are very bad. You know, I'm not able to take anything good. Uh, if I see myself in the mirror, it's different. If I try to take a picture, yeah. it's bad. Yeah, it's not the same, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, uh, but I think you don't have to be... It's, it's really hard to question this because I think you have to, if you're an artist today, 
someone around you has to take good pictures because or else you're fucked you can't be on social media and have shitty pictures everybody everyone in the band you know you have to have like some some cool stuff there so if you can't do it someone else has to learn i think yeah no i cannot i don't know actually i i i found a great picture in your instagram profile Yeah, you have to point it to the camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that's pretty that, good. Yeah, I didn't take it. <laughs> oh. yeah. that, that, that was from a professional photographer. I don't know if you noticed it. There is a guy near you playing the bass. That's me. <laughs> I was not taking the picture. I know. That's why it's a great picture. <laughs> yeah, but okay. I think you should just focus in life what you're good at. So I don't think you should dwell on stuff you can't do. It's no point. Like, if I'm bad at some things, like, that's not for me. I'll do something else, you know? <laughs> don't worry about it. That's the most polite your picture, okay? way to say that I suck at photography. <laughs> you should start writing a book. No, absolutely. That's even worse. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm better as a photographer, and you know it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm very bad at it. Uh, so, so, someone from behind the stage reminds us that our new making of video will be released in four minutes right now. Mm. Uh, I don't remember the song actually. What was it? Is it? Oh my, All my faces. face. All my faces. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we are almost there. There will only be one song left after this one. Mm -hmm. And you can see Simon trying to play the drums, which of course are fake, because then we use the, the fake ones. So we, <laughs> just, we, just, we just gave him a drum and we told him, play whatever, we'll just use the computer. And then you can see everyone else playing actually and recording the, <laughs> the song on the album. <laughs> What? Sounds oh, you... I'll you didn't it. know it. <laughs> oh, you, you you didn't notice that. Oh, no, yes. Of thank you for we... making me sound so so good. Uh, by the way, <laughs> we told you. <laughs> Thanks that to microphone... Roberto Laghi. <laughs> <laughs> we told you that the microphones were wireless. Uh, but, uh... I didn't notice it. Yeah, there were no cables coming out of the microphones. Didn't you notice? <laughs> Oh. Technology. No. <laughs> yeah, it, it just Bluetooth Bluetooth and... microphones. What? Bluetooth microphones. Yeah. Okay. That's great. And that's it. I think oh, my legs are starting to hurt. Uh, <laughs> we usually end the chat uh, with the final speech. Uh, which is something pretty official. So you now uh, have to have the final speech. <laughs> I have to yours. give it. <laughs> okay. Yes. No. Okay, but I haven't prepared anything. So. That's <laughs> but, the best yeah. way. Yeah. Like so. like when you recorded, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm think uh, I'm just. This was really fun and nice to see you again. And I'm actually serious. I think you should come here and we should play, actually. That would be so fun. Or we can come to you. So I don't know. I think it would be a good match. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Uh, so that would be nice. Um, yeah, and I'm grateful for everybody who's been watching. Um, thank you to all of you. And uh, nice to hear that people seem to uh, like Rebe Requiem as well. Uh, yeah. Um, what else to say? I think everybody should just Stay strong, take care, and like this will soon be over, I think, if we just do all kinds of fun stuff like this. So it will get better, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> I agree. Thanks to you for being with us. It was great to see you again after all these years. And I do agree we should come back there and play together. Uh, I think that the scene over here is not as good as there, so maybe it's yeah. better Easier. this way around, yes. Uh, and yeah thank you very much for Thanks. being with us it was great it was fun uh, as usual yeah. it was inspiring so 
that's good also remember to subscribe to our channels on youtube activate the bell and uh if you want to follow us on facebook as well we are here don't forget to follow jenny on our social uh channels like instagram uh or the bands that she plays in uh like a uh, rave the requiem yeah uh, you can see and aligned yeah. so uh thank you very much for being with us and stay safe and stay revenant yeah. thank Bye, guys. you guys thank you Johnny. thank you everybody